guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making little mini terrariums using this little glass that I picked up at Walmart when I was there the other day grocery shopping. As soon as I saw this little glass, I knew I needed to put some plants in it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm so excited to finally be doing a planty project because if you can't tell by my voice, I've literally had the flu for the past seven days. I haven't had the flu since I was like 17, so like 10 years ago. So it hit me really, really hard and I'm finally not dying, so let's get right into it. So like I said, we have this cute little bubble glass that I picked up from Walmart. It's so funny because I think the label actually said, no, it doesn't say it on here, but the label at Walmart, it said bubble glass, and I love anything that is round. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you know that I plant things in a lot of round little containers. It's just the best looking pot in my opinion, so if I could get a round glass jar for every plant, I totally would. A little disclaimer, I am going to be doing this my way, using my type of substrates like Lekka, Pond, and maybe a little bit of sphagnum moss. I've seen, oh my god, the the wind is whistling out there. <laughs> I've seen so many other videos where people use all types of things to put in their terrarium, and this is just where I'm starting. Oh my god, the wind is out of control. But yeah, this is where I'm starting with my terrarium, just to get the feel and the idea of how I want them to look. <coughs> and honestly, I'm just trying to use up the stuff that I have now before I go out and buy a whole bunch of other substrates. This glass is pretty decent sized. It's a lot bigger than any other round glass that I do have, which is exciting. Right now, these are gonna be an open system because they didn't come with tops. Maybe I'll be able to find something to like put on top of it after. We'll just have to see. And then I just wanted to show you the plants that I'm gonna be using to put into my little mini terrariums. I have, I have these pilea that we propagated in the past, which to my surprise are actually growing. I kind of just threw them in here because I broke them off of the mother plant that I have and I didn't want them to go to waste. So they actually are growing and I'm sure they have some roots in there. So we're gonna add some of these in there. I also have this little mammy eye propagation along with this one as well. They were struggling for quite a bit, which is why I started rooting them this way. But since they've been in here for a while, I thought it would be a good idea to add them to the terrarium since they are a little bit on the smaller side. And then the last plant, we're gonna take some propagations from my Hoya Serpents, how exciting, because I kind of wanted to add them onto like the ground of the terrarium that I'm making. So we'll see how that looks. So for the bottom of the terrarium, I wanted to add some Lekka. Just because I see a lot of people add rocks at the bottom, so this is my rocks. <laughs> Not too much. I'm gonna add that much for now. And then I have some DIY pond here. There's probably a few pieces of Lekka in here as well, but that's okay. Oh my God, this is gonna go everywhere. <laughs> no. I literally sweep a pond seven days a week. Seven. So I literally only watched a five minute video of how a terrarium was being made. This guy didn't use any of these substrates, but I'm just kind of copying how he made it so that it was a little higher on one side to create some height. So I'm just mimicking that right there. Some people are probably watching this video like, what are you doing? And my answer to that is whatever I want, clearly. Okay. I don't want to fill it up too much because I still have to get the plants in there. I don't have any green moss, which I really, really want. Like, I could have ordered some. I could have went and got some. But I just chose not to. I'm trying to use the rest of this sphagnum moss that I have. So, I think we're going to put a little bit of sphagnum moss. And the only reason I don't want to is because it looks so pretty. Like, do you guys remember when I made this little mix? It looks so aquatic. I love it so much. Do I really want to ruin it with sphagnum moss? I think for me personally, I don't really like sphagnum moss. Like, I don't like the way it looks. I don't really like working with it. And I swear, every time I work with sphagnum moss, I see fungus gnats. That's the real reason, honestly. Like, even my philodendron burl marks fantasy that we air layered a couple videos ago, I swear a fungus gnat flew out of the sphagnum moss. 
Speaking of that plant though, it's actually putting out a new leaf right now. I actually ended up switching her to a self-watering pot and I think that was the best thing for her. She has a new leaf coming out, so I'll insert some footage here. I was a little nervous about pond birding this plant. So to see it put out a new leaf already, oh, I'm so excited. Back to the terrarium. Let's add sphagnum moss on the bottom because that's where we're gonna put the Hoya serpents and those are not rooted at all. So I think that's a good place to put some. Let's see how that looks, hold on. Just trinkle some down there. A little grassy area. I mean, I'm still dreaming about having green moss. So let's pretend this is green and it's a little grassy area. Like, sphagnum moss just looks like dead moss to me. It probably is, huh? I don't know. I want to take, like, some type of course about plants or something to, like, make me level up a little bit. Like, I need to level up in my knowledge about anything green, honestly. Is this good? Now I feel like I have to make the pond taller. Or is that gonna be bad? I don't know. Ooh. I'm making a, a mountain. Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Follow at your own risk. Okay. Is this weird? I don't know. My camera's overheating, so. I'll be back. A little longer than a few minutes later. So this is what we're working with. It doesn't really look that cute, but this is my first time ever doing something like this, so cut me some slack. I'm gonna take like butterfly propagations. I really need to stop cutting this plant, but anytime I've ever cut my Hoya serpents, the cuttings have died, so. Here we are trying again. I'm cutting this piece right here. Oh my God, can you even see? Okay. Oh my god, why is it? These scissors suck. Boom! I got one cutting from there. I love this plant, so like cutting it is hurting my heart a little bit, but should be alright. This will be one. Oh my god, can I get some better scissors? Oh my god, that was so unacceptable. Alright, let's just get some more cuttings. Okay. So we have one. Two, three Hoya Serpents cuttings. I'm just gonna put it down in the front where the sphagnum moss is. Oh wait, maybe I should create a little hole for it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Literally just putting it in here. Please don't die in there, sir. If these die, I'm gonna be really sad. So I'm trying to get them laying in there pretty good. Okay, you can't see because of the glare, like you can literally see my camera back there and the huge window open. But the Hoya Serpents are right down there. Oh, you can see them better from the side. So they're lying down there. Hopefully they grow up. But next we're gonna add another level, which is gonna be a little bit higher. So for that, I've decided, I kind of want to add a Hoya cutting before. I was gonna say, let's add some Peperomia. This is not Peperomia, is it? Pilea Peperomoides, yeah. <laughs> Let's add a couple of Hoya Crimson Princess cuttings in there really quick. Let me make a hole. It's always easier when you make a hole. I'm gonna put you like right here. Yes, yes, yes. And then stick it in the hole that I just made. Oh. A little, little down. Come on, keep going. I think I broke something. Maybe turn it, oh, maybe not, maybe turn it. Oh. Yes, I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but she's standing up right there. That's so cute, I'm so excited now. I wanted to put this little cutting in there as well, just cause, why not? I'll put that one on the opposite side. Okay, get in there. Don't give me any trouble, please. Oh, shizzle. Oh, it's giving me trouble. <laughs> Sometimes I just forget I'm working with glass and I'm so rough. I'm like, girl, about to hurt yourself and these plants. I don't know, guys. 
I don't know. This is a weird cutting. I don't know if you can see her down in there. I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like after. But now for the exciting part, I really wanna get some of these in there. I'm more excited to take them out though. So let's see. Little squeeze, just lost a leaf. It's, uh, oh, those are a little tight in there. Yay. And my other plant, my little pilea, I just posted a picture of it on Instagram and it's actually growing and I'm so excited because like I told you in a few videos ago, I was gonna throw that plant away, but I'm not so bad at pilea as I thought I was. The little roots. I'm honestly convinced there's currently a ghost in my house that's trying to scare me, but this is my house. Anywho, why does that look like spider mites on the leaf? That's not good. I'm gonna go get one of my little DIY wipes because ew. Oof. These are those wipes I was telling you guys about. I don't like touching them because they smell like, oh, I just lost another leaf. No, no more leaves lost. I'm gonna stick him in the middle up here. There's such a freaking glare, I'm so annoyed. How do, how do I, how do I block the glare? Let's grab another little tiny one. Which one? I'll grab this little one. It's so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna put him on the side of his brother. Let's see how I can show you. Oh my God, I closed the blind and it's still so bright. But look it. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Is it too dark now? That is so annoying that the glare is that bad. Okay, the last plant that I'm gonna add is the Mammy Eye, and I really wanna add this one in there because it's so pretty. This was almost a goner, but I guess not. Is this gonna be too big? Ooh, there's roots. Not a lot, but there's some. Ew, what is that? What is that dangling? I don't know what that is dangling. Looks like a piece of pawn. How are we gonna get you in there? Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? So these are just a little too tall for what I'm looking for, for this specific little terrarium. So I'm gonna fill it up with something else. I think I wanna put the rest of the pilea in there. So let's do that to see what it looks like. I'm gonna put this big one in the back. Okay, I lost a leaf, but that's okay. And then the last little plant I'm adding, whoop. I'm trying not to break leaves, but this one is so small, oh my God. Oh, I lost a leaf, no. Just gonna add a little bit more pawn back there. And I think that's all I want for inside this one. If I tip this, it's not gonna be good. So this is what it's looking like right now. This is what the inside looks like. And I'm just gonna trinkle a little bit of water in there. I put little holes on the top of this water bottle so I can just wrinkle it. Just because it's not closed right now, I put a little bit of a reservoir so that these plants can actually root and grow. I know it looks like just a bunch of greenery, but we have the Hoya Serpents down there, the Hoya Crimson Princess, the Pilea up here, and I like it. It looks cute. I also did make this one earlier with a little bit more sphagnum moss. So the whole top layer is sphagnum moss, which I'm a little bit nervous about for all of the reasons I've mentioned earlier, but Nevertheless, we do have one of these to work with. So I think I'm gonna put a mame in here. Mammy eye, mame. Which one though? Yeah. I wanna put both of them in there. I'm just gonna shorten this because it's just making things more difficult. This one is just tall, like, it's pretty tall. We got one in there. I'm so sorry for the glare. <laughs> We'll see. We will have to see about these. Okay, I made it work. I ended up ripping off the leaf that was making it too tall to put in here. 
so it actually fit in here. Hold on, let me show you the inside. This is what my little two mame look like. I put a little crystal in there just to make it a little bit more cute in there. These are my two mini terrarium. We might do some tweaking in the future, so stay tuned. And that brings me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye guys. Why does my hair look like George Washington right there? I don't like sphagnum moss. I don't like the way... Can I finish my words? Look at that freaking piece of weather seal hanging down. How annoying. We get to chop the varicosum net. Varicosum, bitch, get it together. Whoa, oh, oh, let me see. Ooh, child. Oh my God, why is my camera overheating again?